Hello again. In this video, we're going to be looking at how sometimes um, you might be given uh, a different kind of form. So in a previous uh, video, we looked at multiple choice questions or multiple choice forms. In this example, we're going, to, we're going to look at a different type of form. So here you can see in this example, we've got exam style questions. You click on that, similar to the last one, and you'll see a form. Again, looks very similar to the last one. So when you click on that, it opens up a form. Again, if I ask for your name, you type in your name, but in this case, you'll see that there's actually some questions and you have to do some typing. Similar to how you would write an answer if you were on uh, writing in a book. So here's a question. Analyze why business would want to expand globally. Explain three benefits with some justified examples, six marks. So when you have a question like this, it's... Um, Assume that obviously you're a bit more wiser. You might be in a higher class, maybe a higher set. Maybe uh, you, this is a GCSE class. Well, I know it's a GCSE class because of the kind of question and the subject I'm doing. Uh, but that's not to say that you are not being challenged in your year seven or year eight classes. Now, if you do have questions like this, read it carefully. And when you're ready, you answer carefully in here. Okay. Um, and then again, same thing, read and answer in here. Now, please, please, for the love of God, don't type blah, blah in your answers. So this is just me saving some time. So as I said, you read and answer. So it looks similar to the previous one. It's still a form. But the difference here is obviously um, it's a open-ended question, which means you have to really think about your answers and your responses. And the, only, and the other difference is once I click submit, it won't give me a, a score because... The teacher has to actually sit down and see what you've actually said. So don't be alarmed if you see if you click on uh, show score and it says X and X, you didn't get anything uh, for that because the teacher has to look at it first and then uh, give you some kind of feedback. So I would obviously pretending here, I'm pretending here to, to be a, 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 a student. I'd have I'd have to give the teacher some time to go through all the answers. As you understand, as you can understand, there's going to be around 25, 30, 35 students per class. So give them some time to uh, to look through, mark, and then give you feedback. Now that could be through an email. It might be directly from here because when you go back, you might find some comments here from your teacher, and you can respond back straight to them as well. 